Today, we pray for world peace, not for the dividing lines of the countries, but for the people within those dividing lines. We send them a blessing of God. In Mark 4, verse 39, it says, And he awoke, and rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Will you have a power in prayer to bless your world, every one and everything, above, around, and within it? As we pray together, I believe we make a real difference that can be felt. I love to travel the world and I love to meet new people. And I, as I travel the world, realize those people are just like you, just like me. They have families. They desire above all things good for their families. And they desire to be in a place of serenity and security for themselves and for their loved ones. As we pray and work together for peace between people and between nations, let us also consider how we can help promote health and well-being and future for our blessed planet and for all of its creatures, let us affirm that peace abides in the cities, that it abides in the forests, the deserts, the oceans, that God's peace permeates to the very core of the earth and vibrates within all of its inhabitants, helping them in divine ways. God, our loving creator, is the intelligence that governs all life and all conditions. In whatever outer steps we're guided to take, we remember the example of Jesus, who commanded the wind and the sea and said, Peace, be still. And so, we, in steadfast prayer, faith, and assurance, of divine love, declare a blessing of peace for the earth and for all its life for all time. We bless the world, everyone and everything within it, and we send our love through the love of God to each person. Amen.